For the most part, people can recognize the signs of being stressed out. You're constantly overthinking, worrying, and getting sick. Stress is our reaction to harmful situations and deteriorates our physical and mental health over time. The fact that we're so desensitized to modern-day stressors means we put ourselves at risk of health issues. According to Healthline, stress is defined as a state of mental or emotional strain caused by adverse circumstances. Being stressed out can affect a person's mood and even their health if it is serious enough. In this video, I'm going to share with you 12 signs you're suffering from too much stress. If you're new here, I'm sure it would benefit you so much if you subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like this. Pay attention to situations in your life that may be triggering any of the following symptoms. 1. Frequent Headaches Most of the pains we feel in our noggins are likely caused by tension headaches. We subconsciously tense the muscles around our neck and shoulders during work or when we sleep, which in turn causes headache. WebMD explains these pains are usually felt in the forehead or the back of the head and neck. The pain is typically dull but constant, and you may feel pressure as well. They are the most common types of headache in adults, so do yourself a favor and practice some stress-relieving tactics to get rid of them. Avoid working for too long hours without stretching your legs. Maintaining a poor posture and too much screen time can significantly increase the symptoms in people. Don't worry about the work too much. There will always be work, but you need to be mentally okay to be able to do good work. So get some rest and start over when you are well rested. 2. Body aches and pains Sometimes it's hard to determine the difference between stress-related aches and workout soreness. According to Everyday Health, when we stress out, our sympathetic nervous system activates the flight or fight response. Blood is then sent to major muscle groups that increase muscle tension and prepare you to fight or flee a situation. If you do not take any action, muscles can become sore or painful. What then do you do when you figure out you're having aches and pains in your body? The first thing you can do is change some of your workout habits. Don't sit on uncomfortable chairs for too long. Try exercising a lot so that your body becomes used to the pain that comes with exercising when you haven't done it in a long time. Try resting the area of your body where you're experiencing pain, but if the pain becomes unbearable, seek medical help immediately. It may be something severe. Working from home became a norm shortly after the COVID-19 pandemic began, and this has placed people in a situation they are not very used to. Unlike a formal setting at the office, where there are mandatory breaks in between work, People working from their homes sometimes neglect those rules and keep going. Some can be hunched over their laptops at the kitchen table, straining their backs or working far into the night. Working with a laptop even adds stress. According to Patch Blog, a laptop's compact design, while convenient, forces users into awkward posture. When the screen is at the right height, the keyboard is too high. When the keyboard is at the right height, the screen is too low. This creates an ongoing trade-off between the poor neck and head posture and poor hand wrist posture. If you have a desk, try getting a desktop. It is far suited for work than a laptop. 3. You're always sick. If you're always under the weather with the flu, a cold or other illnesses, there's a chance it could be from poor nutrition or stress. The main hormone that rises when you're stressed is cortisol, which can negatively affect your immune system. According to Breaking Muscle, when you're exposed to cortisol for long periods, your body may be more susceptible to sickness. Since the pandemic, a lot of people have been sick, but not necessarily from the pandemic. Many of them fall ill as a result of the stress they undergo daily. You need to protect yourself from stress, by all means, or you may end up ill too. 4. Itchy skin Sounds odd, but think about when you're stressed. You may subconsciously scratch your arm or even parts of your face. Calm Clinic says this is because stress increases the inflammation of our skin. Sometimes, physical sensations feel more intense when we endure anxiety. We can often experience tingling sensations that we make for itchiness. Weird stuff. 5. Acne The reason we sweat when we're stressed is quite interesting. Some scientists say sweating plays an evolutionary role in sending warning signals to people around us. Sweat from exercise and sweat from stress are produced differently though. The Wall Street Journal explains sweat caused by stress is from apocrine glands and is triggered by adrenaline, the hormone that causes us to react quickly when facing a threatening situation if you have a stressful business meeting coming up, wear dark colors just in case. 6. Lack of concentration When it feels as if your mind is being pulled in every direction and you can't seem to complete anything on time when you have tons to do, your stress level may be to blame. Dr. Timothy Wilens, MD, speaking with Fox News explains how stress can easily affect your ability to think clearly and focus. Quote, it competes with your cognitive centers, the areas in the brain that are responsible for quick, sharp thoughts. 
So being anxious or stressed drags focus down even further, he says. Stress can make you perceive simple tasks as difficult. It can make you not feel like working even if you are not physically tired. Stress is not something pleasant, and it can happen to anyone. One way of avoiding it is to have a healthy work-life balance. When you feel overwhelmed, see a movie or go out. When you return, you approach the work differently. 7. Exhaustion While it seems those heart-palpitating moments of stress should leave us more awake than ever, they actually completely deplete our energy. Dr. Edward Pace Schott, a professor at Harvard Medical School's Division of Sleep Medicine, tells The Atlantic, Our brain has a certain amount of short-term storage for holding memories. When you have an emotional response to something, your brain makes a note that the memory is important and attempts to store it. This is all fine and well until you start getting stressed out. Stress leads to heightened emotional state, so you start telling your brain to store it all. Unfortunately, there's only so much room. Attempting to store too much info can leave you feeling drained. This is especially relevant to students undertaking tedious programs. It is best to read little by little and stay consistent, then try to read three months worth of studies within one week. It'll backfire. I once prepared for an exam through the semester and read all through the night before the exam. When I entered the hall, I forgot everything I had read. I was blind for close to 30 minutes. The moral of the story is to never do what you should do in three months in one night. I was not confident in all I had read during the semester and I tried to read them all in one night. It will not work. 8. Low libido Many things can diminish your sex drive, but too much time spent at the office is definitely a culprit. Dr. Stubler at MedicineNet.com explains a decreased interest in sex is one of the many symptoms of chronic stress. It's not all bad news, though. Health mentions exercising has been shown to increase sex drive, and you're also more likely to feel confident about your body if you're regular at the gym. This, in turn, can give your libido the boost it needs while reducing stress. Have you ever been to the gym before? 9. Hunger and Weight Gain Diet and exercise are the keys to maintaining a healthy weight. This we know to be true. But when you add chronic stress levels to the mix, things can get dicey. Pamela Peak, MD, tells Prevention. If you usually eat well and exercise, chronic high stress can prevent you from losing weight or even add pounds. When you're stressed, your brain tells your cells to release adrenaline and cortisol. Adrenaline accesses your energy stores in case you really do need to fight an attacker or run for your life. Cortisol then comes in to replenish that energy, which can signal hunger pangs. While this is useful if you're in a life or death situation, here's the trouble. Under chronic stress, this happens constantly, which means your hunger pangs are unrelenting too. And to cap it all, when you eat under stress, you're likely to eat at off times and you will start to add weight even though you are stressed out. It happens differently for people though. 10. You have acne. According to Healthline, acne is one of the most visible ways that stress often manifests itself. When some people are feeling stressed out, they tend to touch their faces more often. This can spread bacteria and contribute to the development of acne. Bet you didn't know touching your face could actually harm you. Turns out it can. 11. You are depressed. People who are stressed out tend to have depression. Depression is not something anyone should experience. Take breaks in between work and try to have as much fun working as possible. 12. You isolate from others. People who are suffering from stress may isolate themselves from others in order to be able to avoid confrontation or changes in their behavior. If you are feeling stressed, try talking to your friends, or if you have no friends, try going out so you can have social interaction. Being in the company of other people helps.